Virgos, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated reading for career, health and money. Cheers, my darlings. Now, this is a general reading. Not everything here will resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. I am going to be setting intentions for your dream, health, career and your money situation. Manifest that with me. I have already uploaded your dedicated reading for love. Go and watch it. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you never miss another reading from me. Now, are you ready, Virgos? Take what's yours. Leave the rest. Apply this to you or the person you're thinking about for your career, health, and money. Now, now, now. I'm going to give you as many messages using multiple decks. Are you ready? I am. These are your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers, my darlings. Your health, health, Virgo's health, career, finances. You are the sixth house. You are about health and service, by the way. Okay, here you go. This is your first message. Okay. Now, look. All these cards mean one thing to me. You are looking at something too closely, whether it's for your career or for your health. I'll tell you why. This is the big picture. There is something bigger playing on than what you're focusing on. Pull back. Pull back. Become an observer for a change. And you're very good at that. Look at the big picture of whatever is playing out in your life. Higher ground. There is a higher, I mean, there is something that you're missing here, whether it's for your health. Can you take a second look? If there's any kind of reports or anything like that for help, I just want to put this out there. Fresh approach. You know, the minute you pull back, okay, the minute you take a second look at something, you're going to understand the bigger picture playing out here, the bigger scheme of things. You're missing out something, important information. I want you to go and take another look. Whether this is for your money, your career, or for your health. Take a fresh approach. This is you are being asked. All these cards mean that to me. This is going to amplify your positive emotions. You know when this card comes out, I could be talking to somebody a Virgo who is down in the dumps emotionally. I want you to go back to being this, that child that you were. It's still there. Our bodies grew. But that essence of being a child is still right there. Who can take that away from you? Nobody. And the minute you start to vibrate a childlike faith, optimism and joy, and I'm not telling you to be nuts, as in like everything is good, I'm no. Just amplify the positive emotions and the negative ones, allow them to come out, but don't allow them to overtake you and pull you down in the dumps. You're being asked to do that. There's something which is hindering and blocking your abundance. You need to take a fresh look, another set of eyes, ask somebody for help, a fresh approach to your health, your career, and your money. Now, this little child is in the water. I don't know, some of you need water therapy, as in going, you know, swimming, spending time in nature, sitting by the ocean. There's something about water. I don't know if some of you are having less water. Please increase your water intake. There's something about water and nature here, okay? Now, let's take your second message for help. Korea. Money. Yay. Fish. Money. Money, money, money. Do not worry. Money is coming towards you in huge amounts. Now, Fish is also about suddenly changing directions. This is Uranus energy. You know, fish is going to go suddenly go and do the turn. Some of you could be taking a huge turn in whatever you're going through for your career. This could be like, oh, should I really do this? You should, because it's going to bring in the money. If this is going to be a huge shift, because you know, fish has changed direction without any warning. Okay. I don't know if some of you are in a school or you teach or there's something with schools, something with money, changing direction suddenly, wealth is coming. But you need to make the sudden shift. Don't be afraid, but please. Virgo. And fish and water. There's something about water here. Please, let me know what that is. Are you going through something which is urinary issues? 
Do not worry. Fresh approach, another pair of eyes. Maybe you need to go to another doctor. Putting this out there. Excellent. For those of you who have been wanting to fall pregnant, it's there. It is right there. The child. This is my Leo energy. It's the fifth house. It's also about creative projects. Your hobbies. Things which are your baby, your pet projects. I'm telling you, money is coming. For that, which is going to lead to this. The golden anchor. This is Capricorn. Setting roots, setting a base. Solid one. Foundations. Whether this is for your career. Or some of you who could be having a child, you know, you're going to be setting, you're going to be starting that, that, you know, that beautiful foundation of your family. Congratulations. And when this card comes out, I also feel some of you could be buying a home. Because this is like anchoring yourself, okay? Now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Where it goes. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Hold on. Where it goes? This good news coming towards you. I'm telling you, there is some news coming in. And very suddenly, I don't know why I keep seeing a sudden shift for you. Sudden shift. Where it goes? Okay. There's new, there's a proposal for a new business partnership. Maybe for you to start a creative project. Somebody is coming in the Sagittarius. This is this is um, my Sag energy. There's somebody coming towards you with this. Now, because the mask has come here and this, now the low vibration of this card is flattery. If you're dealing with somebody at your workplace where you can't read them, I'm reading them for you. They're fake. Okay? They're fake. So please take note of this as well low vibration of these cards. Now, I don't know why I feel the need to say this. Somebody has been wearing a mask, if you know what I mean, you know, because of not feeling well. Listen, I, you know what I'm talking about when I say you've been wearing the mask. Do not worry. The sun is here. This is health. Health, health, health. You know, you have the sun, you have the fish. What do you want me to say? This is money and health. Both. You've been worried about the health of a child. Do not. Do not. Now, because the cards came up before of fresh approach, higher ground, there's something that is being masked in your health. You need to take a fresh approach. Please, Virgo, please. Something is not showing up as it is. There could be nothing because I look. Please. Okay. And for work, there is a flatterer around you. They're fake. I want you to pay attention to that too. I like these messages for you. I like them. Now, okay. let me move on and take another deck. Okay, Virgo? Help. <clears throat> Korea. Finances. Okay. You start. Now, another card of sickness. Now, I, I have the sun card here, but there is somebody here who's going through something which is making them sick. I don't know why I feel it's also mental sickness. You know, when I see this car, somebody's been taken care of. Or they need that care. I don't know why I feel that. It's almost like this person will get well if there's somebody with them taking care of them. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. But that mask card, and I feel there's somebody could be sick, you know, they have had to wear a mask or something. The sun is there as well. Do not worry about it. You know, this in this deck, this card is also about bed pleasures. Okay. What do you want me to say, Virgo? Go for it. That's all I'll say. But um, because I'm talking about health here, I need you to make sure that whoever you're, you know, deciding to connect with energetically, physically, it's almost like, you know, plugging parts of your apparatus into somebody else. Sorry, I'm not trying to be vulgar. It's direct exchange of energy. It's like when you go to the petrol pump and, you know, you put that thing into your car, it fills petrol. You take in what the person is giving. I want you to make sure that the person you're connecting with is clean, as in they don't have anything which is sick. 
please. I don't know why I felt the need to say that because I'm talking about STDs here. I do not know where this came from, but it's for somebody. Now, there is somebody here who is in this energy. It's my Leo. This talks about the fifth house. Somebody who's extremely generous. This could be a new individual coming towards you for business. This person has a good social media presence. They like to be on stage. They're a little egotistical, but they're very generous. They have big hearts, okay? Enthusiasm, money, power, and they're famous, and they're coming towards you. Talking to somebody who could be doing up their home. Congratulations, Virgo. Making your living room more, you know, what can I say? More plush, doing it up adding curios, art pieces, making it so beautiful. Now, this is also the place where the family sits down together and has their meeting. So if I'm talking about work and career, some of you could <clears throat> have some kind of work-related meetings coming up for you. I, I feel there's somebody very generous coming towards you. And maybe they're going to you know, offer you something in those meetings. There's some kind of something with work here. It's not just you doing up your home. This living room is also a place where meetings are held. What else? Love it. Honor. Hi, honor. My God, a Leo. You have a Leo coming towards you, Virgos. Somebody is going to get honors, recognition, rewards, awards, badges, medals. And this is my, you know, you're being given that salute by Everybody, you're going to be put up on stage and shine. I love this for your career. Fantastic. So somebody could also be graduating and getting their honors and their degrees here. Take one more message. <clears throat> Where it goes. Thank you. Right. Somebody here is preoccupied. With what? You know, when this energy comes out, this energy tells me that you don't have the knowledge yet. You don't. You're looking at something too close. The same thing. Fresh approach. Stop being obsessed with something in a negative way. I'm talking to somebody who's obsessing about all the things that can go wrong. But you don't have clarity. Do not make a decision. Something is being masked here in your health. I need you to take another look. Give me one more card on that, please, for it. It's about work. You do not have clarity. I don't know what feels like toil and labor to you right now. You're looking at it wrongly. There is a silver lining in this. I promise you. I promise you. One more card for that. Partnership. New business proposal. This is this is the card of courtship, but we're talking about work here. So this is partnerships, business related. Small groups and association. Aquarian. Aquarius is coming towards you. It is. It is. I'm telling you this. And whatever hard work you're putting in, just don't look at it too closely. Put some distance. And you're not, you do not have the clarity on this partnership. But I think there is a brilliant partnership coming towards you. This could be something which is online, social media, Somebody at a distance. Now, because it's a card of Aquarius here, it's also my card of hope and healing, which I want you to focus on for your help. Now, take another day. Okay. I am going to take my <clears throat> um, what is this? Life purpose oracle deck for you. Okay. Career, my God, health and finances. God. Spirit Virgos, please. Thank you. Thank you. That card went and whacked that other one. Excellent. Hmm. Study. Reading, research, education will help you gain confidence and clarity. And the owl is here. I want you to know that if you have been wanting to prepare for, you know, putting your resume out there or preparing for an exam, I'm setting intentions you're going to have success. Also, perhaps you may have to augment your current career with some kind of a course or something to augment it. I don't know what this could mean for you. Another class, another course. Take it. Also, for somebody who's doing research, tremendous successes and honor is coming towards you. 
energy healing. You know, manifest bliss, please. Your positive emotions will lead to this. Unblocking your chakras, you know, from all your seven beautiful channels where your prana, your life force dances around. And when there are no blocks, you get everything, whether it's your health, your money, your, you know, your Manipura, which is about your, your power, your solar plex, everything falls in place. And your natural energy healing abilities. I could also be talking to somebody here who may want to start a business with this beautiful gift that they have. And if that is you, go for it. Or go to somebody who does oracle cards, tarot cards, Reiki and healing. This could be a prompt to do that as well, Virgos. Light and love. Your divine purpose is to bring light and love to the world. Oh, I love this card. You know, Virgos, you are the hermit. You hold that lamp in your hand. Shine your light, dear. Don't let people tell you you're lesser than. Your job, you've come with this purpose to shine that light and to show people the way. Some of you could be healers in the making. Congratulations. Animals. If you have a pet, if you have a child who is a pet, of course, something that you love and that loves you back unconditionally, please spend time with them. Some of you could also be veterinarian. I can never say that word. You know, vets. No, no, not the Vietnam ones. The ones who work with animals. Trust your inner guidance. Your Ajna is on point. It is giving you prompts. And if you can spend time maybe going to the zoo or with some animals, petting farm, please do it. It's going to lead to a lot of healing. Because there's somebody here who's in a very negative place and I feel this. Now, I want to take some angels of abundance oracle cards and then I'm going to take my angel answer. So you ready? Let's go. Vote goes. Oh, boy. Virgos, one second. Yeah. Virgos, please spill that. Thank you. Yeah. Virgos, release jealousy. I have to do this too, okay? I have to. Because sometimes when you see other people just breathing and passing through life, okay? And you look at your toil and labor that you have done, damn it. And you go like WTF, okay, to the universe. Well, I know how to kind of, you know, circumvent this jealousy and say, you know what? They have that. I'm going to get two of that. That's what I do. I may be childish and wrong. But I, you need to get out of this mindset. Because when you are vibrating from jealousy... It's a very negative emotion, right? The universe sees it as negativity. It doesn't see those finer points. No. It sees it as she's vibrating negatively. And that's what you create. Release it, yeah. They got it, you'll get to. Say that to yourself. And slowly but surely, you'll start to understand that immediately when you start getting your stuff, you start feeling such gratitude. And you go, you know what? They did it, I did it too. They have got it, I will get it too. Do the work. And I'm saying that because literally do the work. Do the work. Just wishing is not enough. I got to fix my mind on this as well. I have this fantastic alive and kicking fishing. Uh, fishing? What? Wishing bone. I don't have any fishing bone. Sometimes I, I go like, okay, you spent, you know, three hours daydreaming, which is very powerful. But I got to put in some work too. To manifest that. Things just don't happen. That is my seed. That is my bij, okay, my bij mantra of positivity. But I got to do the work and water it and let it grow, right? Something here or someone here is asking you to put in the work as well because that's where the rewards are. It's going to come. Nothing can stop it. And you are the sixth house. You are about work and service to others. And then I have gratitude. Make your gratitude. Get ready to make this list. Buy a big pad because there's going to be loads and loads of things you're going to be thankful for. I promise you this. And for those of you who've been wanting to start your gratitude list, yes. Cooperation and not competition. Somebody here has had jealous workmates, but there's been anger, jealousy, conflicts. 
behind the scenes or in your face. I told you there's somebody fake around you. They're fake AF wearing a mask. Please take note of that. You're going to move. You're going to manifest this new work situation. There is no competition. There is no jealousy. There's cooperation where you are members of a team where all of you grow together, you earn together. And I'm setting intentions, this intention for you specifically for those of you who are having troubles at your workplace. Now, Virgos. Angel answers. This has yes and no cards. Ask a question. You ready? Pause the reading and I will try to answer it. Let's go. Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. If you've asked a yes or no question, the answer is unlikely. If you have any health problems, situation will improve. If you have any problems at your work, the situation will improve. And so be it. Speak up. Be assertive. That's the key. There's a key. The key is to speak. Speak. Do not be blocked. Golden opportunity. Look at all the gold. There is a huge opportunity coming towards you. And I'm setting intentions. It's for your health, for healing, for your work life, and for money. Grab it. Grab it with both hands and run. You're going to get it. I'm telling you it's coming for you. Let me know when this plays out, Virgos. So these were your confirmations, your answers, and all the messages that I could give you via this reading. Like, share, subscribe. Do go and watch your love reading. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through, Virgos. I want to hear from you. Join my little family. Subscribe. Help my little channel grow. All I do is just post readings every day, as many as I can. Some quick messages as well. When you don't have the patience to sit through a whole reading, go and watch my three card readings. They will give you answers as well. I cannot wait to have you as a part of my family. Follow me on Instagram. This too shall pass, Virgos. You are loved, guided, guarded, very protected. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Bye.